Magandang araw po sir, sa inyo lahat. Today, we, the lead nominees of the party list Mamamayang Liberal or ML, the multi-sectoral wing of the Liberal Party, filed their respective CONCAN for next elections, for 2025 elections to participate in the party list elections. We do that, we do that, or we did that, not just to run, but to fight. Laban po ito sa lahat ng mga nagugutom, nagkakasakit, at namamatay. Dahil sa kapabayaan, dahil sa kasakiman, dahil sa karahasan at kasinungalingan ng mga pinuno natin. Laban po ito sa ating mga kababayan na nasira ang buhay at pamilya dahil sa mga pogos at online gambling na hinayaan kumalat, magkalat dahil sa pabaya at pakikipang konsyabahan ng ating liderato. Laban po ito sa mga sundalo na nagpapakahirap Napuputulan pa nga ng daliri habang binabantayan ng ating teritoryo, ang ating mga karagatan at ang ating sariling mga isla. Kinulong po ako nila for 2,454 days. Sinira ang aking pangalan, pinatahimik at nalagay pa nga sa panganib ang aking buhay. But my conviction remains unshaken that the Filipino people deserve better. Mama Ben Liberal or ML represents the marginalized. Those left behind by a system that ignored them. Nandito po kami, we are offering ourselves once again for public service kami, mga nominees, sila Congressman Ted Bagilat and Congressman um, Erin Tanyada to be the voice, a strong voice for the marginalized and to fight for true representation. Hindi po kami aatras, hindi kami susuko, mananatili po kaming tapat sa Pilipino at Patuloy po namin ipaglalaban ng isang gobyerno na pagkakatiwalaan ng ating mga kababayan. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay ang ML. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas. Thank you, Ma'am. Thank you, Pop. I'd just like to ask, kasi earlier this year, uh, sinabi niyo po na hindi na po kayo tatakbo for next year's elections. I wonder what changed your mind po. Salamat. Okay, a lot of factors. Totoo po yun. Hindi po ako nagbalak na tumakbo kahit anong posisyon, not even for a senator. Kasi marami pa ako nga uh, ayusin din sa buhay ko, sa family. Because, you know, I've been out. They, they, they jailed me for almost seven years. I wanted to rebuild my life. But I was also going around in various activities and various events. Malalo na po sa mga espelahan, mga universities and colleges. And I was able to interact with a lot of people, especially young people. And many of them were asking, di ko ba kayo babalik sa Senado? Di ko ba kayo tatakbo? And I said, hindi muna. And then more and more, especially when we were exposed to the various sectors, and then of course, mga kasamahan ko sa ML and also sa LP, kasi ML nga is the sectoral wing of LP, then I was convinced that I think this would be another, uh, another stage, another um, uh, part of my journey na katarugtong lang ho ng aking mga naging journey noon na, nakikipag, na nakikilaban na may mga uh, pinaglalabanan ng mga pinaglalaban ng mga kausa na I think this time around mas focus tayo sa marginalized kasi ang mga sektor po ang iba't ibang sektor ang siyang haligi ng ating lipunan and uh, nangangailangan sila panahon na para bigyan sila ng mas malakas na boses at habang Isusulong namin sa ML yung kapakanan ng mga marginalized sectors, yan din ang pagkakataon na makikipag-engage uh, kami sa diskurso 
ng mga napaka-importanteng suliranin at isyu ng ating bayan. Marami na po tayong nakikita ang mga isyu ngayon, maraming mga nangyayari ngayon, yung mga, maraming mga naglalabasan ng na mga revelasyon. And very much aligned din to sa mga core advocacies ko na alam nyo naman, yung karapatang pantao, yung demokrasya, rule of law, justice, good governance. At itong mga sektor na to, bagamat iba-iba rin ang kanilang mga aptitude at iba-iba rin ang kanilang mga hangarin, they are all bound by the overarching cause of social justice. So, ML will fight for social justice of the marginalized sectors and we will fight against systemic injustices. Thank you. From Inquiry.net, John. Representative Harry Roque, is, uh, may arrest order po ang house sa kanya. Given, sir, uh, given ma'am, na last time he was gloating on your imprisonment, ano pong message niyo po? Ano pong masabi sa kanya? Alam niyo naman siguro kung anong tawag dyan. Hindi ko na lang sasabihin kung anong tawag dyan. Alam niyo naman kung ano yung mga pinagsasabi niya tungkol sa akin. And now look at him now. He's on the run. Instead of facing the rule of law, ay uh, binabastos pa niya na hindi siya nagpapakita kahit niya dinismiss na yung kanyang Rito Vamparo. So siguro naman na-realize na niya kung gaano ka mali, yung mga mali na mga nasabi niya tungkol sa akin at siya nga yung mga ginawa niya sa akin. And I think you should realize that. So really, marunong talaga ang Diyos. Ma'am, uh, uh, one more on my end, sorry. Uh, will, okay. will you encourage him to, ano po, keep the arrest order? Of course. He must. He's a lawyer, actually. He's a man of law. He's supposed to be a lawyer. A ako nga, hinarap ko eh. Kahit gawagawang mga kaso eh. Hinarap ko, hinarap ko yung batas. I respected the rule of law. I went through the whole process even if it was so painful and tedious on my part. So dapat ganun. Kung wala kang kasalanan, wala kang tinatago, harapin mo ng buong tapang, hindi yung nagtatapang-tapangan lang siya by means of, uh, you know, sa SOSA, nag, nag, uh, nagla-live feed na lang siya. And then parang iniinsulto ini pa niya yung ating mga law enforcers. Rainiel? Uh, good afternoon po, former Senator. Yeah, Rainiel from TV5. Ma'am, uh, many are speculating that your uh, political comeback is both a revenge and redemption. Dahil dun daw sa, yung babalikan nyo raw, yung mga gumawa ng injustices sa inyo. And uh, probably, Marami pang former Senator Laila Dilimay nasa piitan ngayon because of injustices. Your stand on this. I will always fight for justice for anyone because justice is, of, is for all. Just like human rights are for all, justice is for all. Now about redemption, yes, I, I, I have attained actually redemption. I have attained vindication. The truth came out about my innocence. The truth came out that these were all invested, uh, invented um, accusations. Now I was vindicated. When my three cases were dismissed, I was absolved from all these um, this, uh, trumped up charges. Now, but I've been saying also that I cannot attain full vindication if, if, hindi pa, hindi rin, hindi rin sila mapanagot sa mga ginawa nila sa akin. You know, false, prosecu false prosecution, um, fabrication of evidence. Pero hindi po yan yung pinaka- uh, objective po, po natin na, okay. na tumakbo at maging partner naman of the public uh, sphere. Because I will be working for justice but more for justice for everyone else. My lawyers will work on the cases to be filed against my tormentors, against my oppressors but uh, that aim, that objective will not at all affect the fulfillment of my duties if and when palarin po ako na maging miyembro ng uh, House of Representatives. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Monster. Good afternoon. Ma'am, we understand that um, your comeback to politics was a result of public consultation and clamor. But we're just wondering, why did you decide to run as a House lawmaker under that party? May iba naman. And also, my pragmatic side tells me na medyo mahihirapan sa Senado. It's a tight race, punong-puno, masikip. Um, but then, uh, nag-isip ko nga na itong through the party list route 
I am, you know, I'm unchallenged to engage also. At hindi naman yan naiiba sa mga dati kong advocacy. So it will make, make me and us, the ML, closer to the marginalized sectors para ipaglaban yung mga, yung mga kanilang mga hinain at mga aspirations sa kanilang mga sector. So it's, 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 it's challenging to me. It's, it's, it's something that is actually beautiful to engage in. Na naiiba, pero actually related rin. Still in the name of service. So can we categorically say that you think you have better chances of winning in the House than in the Senate? I think so. I think so. All, it, all, all that we have to do is, you know, yeah, to, do, to, to work hard at achieving uh, the required number of votes to uh, attain three seats. Just work hard and uh, make people aware how sincere and how committed you are in, in your quest for uh, a seat in Congress. Okay, last question, Del Nazario. Bulletin, sorry, Manila Bulletin. Hello, hi ma'am. Um, sabi niyo po marami pa kayong inaayos and yung political kapat niyo ba ngayon, would you say part siya nung pag-rebuild niyo ng, like you said, rebuilding your life? You can say that. You can say that kasi siniraan niya ako eh. I wanted to do more when I was elected a senator. Pero ang nangyari, eight months pa lang ako na nakaupo. Kinasuhan na ako, inarest, inaresto na ako, kinulong na ako. I was still a senator then, but it was, you know, the fulfillment of my mandate as a senator was very, was very limited. Because I could not participate in the sessions, I could not participate in the committee hearings, I could only file bills and resolutions. So hindi ko naganap na ganap ng lubos-lubusan yung mandato ko. This time around, I want to have a chance to be able to fully um, um, discharge the mandate that will be given if and when palarin po kami. Okay, thank you very much, Mangas. And the last question. Um, okay. Another photo of the center. 